Hey guys, it's been a little while since I've done one of these. Justin Ayer, a Wagner County American Tribune editor here. I'm actually in the small community of OK, Oklahoma, in front of C Dispensary behind me here. It just opened up. The reason why I'm in this area is because Sunday, uh, there was a huge, huge grass fire uh, right here. It actually stemmed from across the street and made its way across the highway here and literally, 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 literally stopped feet away from C Dispensary. Now, if it wasn't for the efforts of OK Fire Department, Tallahassee Fire Department, and a few other departments out here, um, it would have been a big deal because behind this dispensary are a ton of homes, a ton of mobile homes. Uh, it really just would have torn apart half a community essentially okay is not that big um strong strong efforts from multiple departments uh, the majority of them being volunteer fire departments so i did just want to make a video uh just kind of showcase where i am uh in the story one of the bigger stories that i'm going to be working on this week i think this is definitely a front page here just because of um you know the impact this huge fire could have had if it wasn't for the efforts of these fire departments. Um, you're not gonna be able to see it too well. Eh, you might be able to see it. I mean, that is just all burnt brush. I mean, it, it's bad. If you actually go um, about a mile down that way there, you can actually see uh, three cars that burned up. Uh, luckily, um, no damage, essentially, just to, just to uh, again, those three cars and, um, yeah, you know, some trees and whatnot, but uh, um, not a lot of home damage or, or anything like that, and it very well could have been. Um, so just wanted to check in with you guys. Hope you're having a good week so far. Uh, I want to continue doing these videos, all right? Have a good one, guys. Bye.